few of my friends have sent this problem and asking for the right answer for this question. So today we will go over this particular problem. For this problem, we really need to pay attention to details. The first time I tried this problem, I got it wrong. So here we go. For the first line, each figure has a value of 15 because there's three figures added up together to 45. So this means the first figure is 15, the second is 15, and the third is also 15. And we will go back to line one later. For line two, we have three ones added up together to 21. So this means that each one is seven. Line three is an eye test. If you look closely to the middle broom, there's actually two of them. So here in this problem, there's four brooms added up to 12. So this means that each broom is three. Three, three, and the middle one here is six total because there's two brooms. Before we continue with line four, let's go back first to line one. For line one, we know that each figure is 15 and the witch is holding a wand and a broom. And we know that each wand is worth seven and each broom is worth three. So seven plus three is 10 this means that the which value is 5. So now we're ready for line 4. Each broom is worth 3 plus the value for the which without a wand and without a broom is 5. Times, also be careful on the third figure here because there's a double wand. Since there's two wands and each wand is worth 7, that means that is 14 total. So using the order of operations, we need to multiply first 5 times 14, which is 70. And then we need to add the 3. So the answer for this problem is 73.